Hello everybody, this is Jeff in River Kennels again. The video that y'all are about to watch is tips and tricks, things that I do to get your hounds ready. Pups, young dogs. Uh, we're going to work them on a cage coon. The coon will not be harmed, will not be harvested. A lot of people think you just hunt your dogs, hunt your dogs, hunt your dogs. And it's not always the case. You got to have mentally ready and physically ready hounds to treat coons consistently and win the competition hunts. One without the other does not work very well. I've heard people say, throw the cage coon away, throw the roll cage away, just take them out with an old dog. I don't agree with that. This is one of the many tips and tricks. I don't do it all the time. You just got to know your hounds. You can use this method um, even if you don't have an old dog. You just got a young dog at home. You can uh, mess with them like this, get them mentally ready. You'll see me work Big Goofy by himself, and you'll see me work him with these uh, other pups that are not far along advanced. You can use this in conjunction with your normal hunting and keep your hounds mentally ready. That's like a prize fighter going to go fight. He trains and trains, but he's got to be mentally ready to beat that opponent. Same thing with fighting roosters, racing horses, racing homing pigeons, racing pigeons. Anything that's competitive, you have to have the physical and the mental readiness to prepare yourself for competition. So this is some of the things I do. There is not one set way to train hounds, y'all whatever works for you. I hear people say that a lot. This is how you train them. There is not a this is how you do. There are suggestions to get you started on your way. There are suggestions what might work for this dog might not work for that other dog like raising kids. Enough talking. I'm just going to show y'all a couple little things that I do that I normally don't show everybody. I don't turn the coons loose a whole lot of times. Sometimes I do. But dogs can run tracks. But they got to look up at the sky and have to meet with accuracy. And I'll show y'all and explain a little bit on why I do certain things certain ways. To enhance the traits within my bloodlines and my hounds, I do certain things. But all right, y'all will see here in a little bit. Hope y'all enjoy it. y'all we're gonna work that's a big foot you see little cardi b that's a litter mate to rob lotus and iowa that's the pup i kept <clears throat> we got big goofy we're gonna work on this method first it's mainly for big goofy but it'll help big foot also <laughs> All right, y'all, this is method number one, mental readiness. What I'm going to do is show them the coon, and I'm going to go in the woods, not too far, but a little bit out of sight, hang it up in a tree. I'm not going to drag it. I'm just going to hang it up in a tree so they'll to throw their head up and smell the scent in the air. Being on the leads different than turning them loose. Oh, <laughs> 
We'll get them fired up here in a minute. Big Goofy's fired up. Pup got scared. That pup barked at the cage cone. Already before. Hey, get him. You see? Oh, Big Goofy went over. All right, so I'm going to hang this up in the tree. All right, now we're going to turn these two loose, see if they find him. Yeah. Keep going. There they go. He struck. We'll see if they pinpoint the tree. Well, y'all, he uh, treed on that tree under there. Not really on it. Throwing his head up wind and smelling in the air. I didn't show him the coon, but I walked this way. And uh, he pinpointed it himself. First he treed on that little tree. When you start off, they're not going to be very good. He kept wanting to run a track on the ground. Throw that head up, get a dog go through the woods and lay them coons up for you. You'll win a lot of hunts. I'm going to get it down, mess with him a little bit. Get Bigfoot. See if Cardi B on some of it. We're going to repeat this step a couple of more times to hone in on his ability to throw his head up and locate coons up in the air. Not just on the ground. And uh, then we'll do another method. I'm going to mess with his sister that ain't been messed with much. We'll get her out and play with her. We got more footage, so. Go ahead and pet him a little bit, son. If you would, please. It's hot out here. 80-something degrees. This is just one of many methods in our Hamilton's toolbox. And if you don't have a, a coon dog to take your pups with, this is just one of many methods. I wanted to show y'all real quick. Busting it up and down excites them. You see that pup? Teaches them to look up. Y'all, we're gonna mess with them a little more. All right, we're turning them loose for the second time. See if he finds him a little, does a little better this time. He should be looking up at the sky. He's winding. He got to go a little further deep, a little deeper. There you go. Now see y'all, when you start them off doing like I do, it's a lot easier. He keeps the coons right there. The more I work him, the better he'll look up. He went right under that coon. He gets away, smells him away from the tree. A dog that can locate a coon that's been setting up. Oh, Cardi B's right under it. Can locate a coon setting up, but tear you up in a bad night in a hunt. I've developed many of them. He's close, but he ain't on the tree. But he'll get there. We got old Bigfoot. He keeps going all the way around this tree. He smells him because the wind's blowing that way. Got a big guy. You see him over there? He ain't but 20 feet from the coon. He'll learn to stick his head up. The wind's blowing that way. 
We'll train them. This is just part of my little training method. He needs to catch it in the air, getting too far back. And he goes that way. Comes just right. right there. He gets close. He'll pinpoint him. Throw your head up, son. He'll go around right on that other side. He knows he's around here. It ain't gonna happen the first time out. He ain't no touch. He is literally the tree over. That's about 10 feet. All right, we might show him where it's at here in a little bit. Might not. Let him work a little. It's pretty hot. I don't like to I see him throw his head up. Y'all better look out. I'm coming for y'all on the hunts in about three years with this dog. I ain't playing. He was literally by and I said, Goofy, look up. He looked up, he was like, I don't know, I'm right there at the tree. He didn't realize he was that close. <laughs> yeah, I see you looking up there too. Alright, we're going to get his sister out and mess with his sister. She ain't hardly been hunted or nothing. It's getting pretty hot. We're going to relocate this coon out here where we hunt. See, he's getting hot, hot, hot. We're going to get his sister. Hello, Bigfoot. We got Trixie. Get him, Trixie. Bring it on up. Stop them. That's the first time Trixie looked at it. I only took it like twice. That's Bree. And uh, Kentucky Hunter Littermates, so Goofy and Trixie. Stop doing Trixie. Stop doing Trixie. Stop doing Trixie. Looking up at the sky. Stop to him, girl. It's getting hot, y'all. We're going to release this coon. We might see if they can run him. We're not going to harvest him or nothing. Hot, hot, hot. Hi, right, we cut him loose. There he is. Working the track. Trixie picked it up first. She more of a track dog. I think we got Cardi B, Bigfoot. We got this brought the wolfhounds in, y'all. See that running dog? Wolfhound. Heard these dogs in here training. It ain't the first time I had wolf hounds come brought to me. Alright, so we're gonna see if they get it treated. Is that car to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, car to be. It's kind of the same old I've ever seen. Well, I brought a smoke with me in case they can't run him. So. He act like he's treed. <coughs> I don't even know how far they are. It's hot, so I better go check it out. He act like he's trying to tree. Of course, he ain't gonna tree real hard now that he's doing all that barking. We stay close to him. He ain't just a chopping. Horse, horse trail. They might have made a lose. I don't know. We got this. We got a hunt in, Mike. How do we drive? You gotta have a dog. They ain't located no tree. They might have lost a scent. Hi, right, we if they trim, we'll let you know. If they don't, we'll let you know anyway.
Now look at him winning the briar patch. There's a the coon right there. They over here buying. I believe you. You believe me? Or do I? Do you see the body or do you see eyes? I seen eyes. Huh? I see eyes. He's right over there panting. Right. I wish he'd quit. He's right there. Okay. I believe you. You're not seeing spider eyes. Quit when I'm... I'm trying to show the people. They close to him, but they ain't... Trixie's on the worst shape of They probably beating me. Here, let me get over here. Hell, he's moving. He's starting to calm down. See him right there? I think I'm not seeing him. I believe you. I I'm believe. trying to get them to see where I can see it on camera. We'll turn it to your colored. Oh, you're going to be a smart. Don't do that. Yeah, he's walking down. You see him glow? I seen it right there. He's right there. Yeah. Turn that off. Y'all see him? All right, I'm going to quit that before he walks down. I can finally found him. He got his feet on the tree, but he is hot, hot, hot. The coon was coming down, but he went back up somewhere up there. Yeah, I think Anthony turned smoke loose. Yeah, I guess he's gonna leave. Yeah, that's not, you know, not smell nothing. Trixie knows. Oh, you stole your head up, didn't you? She's gonna check the ground. She'll get out there and pull her head up. She'll find it. Alright, y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's rough in there. That's me. He ain't going nowhere. See him throw the head up. Bring them traits out in your hand. Trip out of country. Gonna get him go to the house. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.